Right, beneath these two head covers are two of the most popular drivers they're going to sell this year. I've got the Paradigm Standard, I've got the Stealth Standard. They're both set up in a very similar setting. They both have very similar shafts. The question is, in a good old fashioned head to head, which one comes out on top? Right, so I'm going to kick things off with a Paradigm and that driver's gone uh, Decent enough ball flight, maybe leaked it a tad down that right hand side. It's bouncing along, we're safe, we were at the bunkers a little bit. It was an okay start, but I don't think it was the best swing from me. I'm just going to switch up into the stealth, same tee position. Let's see what that one does. Okay, so, so first of all, probably a much more solid swing that I've hit with stealth, and that's something I'll talk about later, how much of that is due to this shaft rather than the head. It looks as though it was a much more penetrating ball flight. My guess is the way it's kicked on over the bunker, it's probably gone a lot further as well. But to be fair to Paradigm, the swing was far greater with the Stealth 2. Right, what we're going to talk about in today's video is what separates these two heads, not just in the fact of performance, what I see here today, but what are the other things that you need to look out for if you're considering buying one of these two right now. And when I say considering buying one of these, because I know there's been a lot of backlash in terms of price of both of these drivers and others, they are certainly premium in terms of price right now. So uh, you've seen a lot of videos over the last few weeks. Are any of you persuaded to try either of these drivers or is that price becoming a real sticking point? Now, before we go any further, let's just have a quick chat about the way they look, because that is definitely something that's going to really separate these two. I made a I've made a comment, my comments on Paradigm in terms of the name I'm not keen on. And again, it's pathetic, I know, but it's just, you know, it's, it's my opinion. And it's the same with the looks. They're not my cup of tea. That doesn't mean to say I'm going to be put off or swayed in terms of the performance of this thing. So, you know, everyone just needs to calm down a little. If we can't have an opinion on the way a product looks, then uh, without too many people getting upset, then the whole channel would get a little bit silly. So from a looks perspective, I prefer the Stealth, but at the end of the day, that's very subjective and uh, it's what you like that really matters. But they're very different and I think that the thing for me is that all the drivers that were released this year are quite different visually. So you look at Mizuno, you look at the Ping, you look at the Srixen, you look at the Cobra, you look at the Callaway, and you look at the Stealth. Aesthetically, they are all quite different and unique in the way they look. And I think that's a, don't forget, all these drivers are coming in, let's, let's call them all 500 quid flat. So the reason you're gonna choose one over the other is not really gonna be based on performance because they're all doing very similar things. And in my opinion, they're all really good, which again makes reviews a little bit different, difficult to do because they have all really upped their game this last few years and we know driver performance has been optimized. So things like looks are really important. And again, it's that top line that really separates it for me and why I'd be swayed towards the stealth, but you might look down on that paradigm, that blue gray finish, and it might be on your eye really appealing. My wife who's on the back of the camera actually prefers the look of the paradigm. So like I said, each to their own. Right, looks to one side, I'm gonna move over to there to the 10th tee and uh, it's a slightly elevated position. Let's see how they get on in the next two drives. I really do question, like I said, just what is the key factor in this for me. Proforce V2 shaft, if you're not a regular on the channel, then I've been using this for the last year. It's been a game changer for me. It is the 5F3 high launch, which is basically around a 50 gram um, reg shaft, but the head combination i've been using the original stealth all last year and it's the stability that it provides me which has been key so that's maybe an unfair advantage that it has so again make sure we take note of that i'm using a hazardous 5.5 reg shaft uh, so again similar but for whatever reason that definitely gives me a lot of stability right let's switch into the paradigm But once again, just probably a noticeable difference in the fact that the, the, this shaft, this hazardous uh, 55 gram, just a little bit softer. And I just feel like I've got to ease off on the tempo a little bit, but that was a really good controlled shot. We'll go down there and we'll see uh, who has driven the further, I suppose. I did a really clever thing there of using exactly the same numbered ball. So I'm not really 100% sure which of these two was the longer. 
and there's not a great deal to separate them anyway. My feeling is that the Paradigm ball was longer because it went tighter to the angle and maybe pitched up a little bit higher on the slope. But that's only a guess and to be honest with you, a bit irrelevant because, um, like I said, there's nothing to split them at all. What both of these drivers do, and from the dry ball testing I did of their individual videos, is they've got a great consistency off the face. Someone commented about forgiveness in a previous video, and to me, what forgiveness means is that you are getting compensated in terms of performance for off-center strikes. So when you see a consistency in numbers, whether that be the launch is consistent, the spin is, the ball speeds are, and the carry distances are, if you see that over a cross section of 10 shots when you're collecting dry ball data, then to me, I know that I'm not finding the center of that club face each and every time, and I won't be doing out here on the golf course. And it's that what, to me, is forgiveness is all about. That compensation, that club is working on your behalf when you're not hitting out the middle. So when you see a couple of shots like that and the ones we've hit so far, there's been nothing to separate them really in terms of where they've finished. The ball flights have all been consistent, suggests the spin number is consistent and therefore the carry distances. So it's always nice to see it out on the fairways replicated what you see in a controlled environment in terms of that dry ball data. But yeah, maybe I'll uh, swap one of these balls out so we can at least differentiate between the two of them. Now, a couple of other things to note is that uh, one is a nine degree head, the other is 10 and a half. I've increased the loft on the stealth. Actually increased it by two degrees, so a half a degree difference in terms of loft. But then the other thing quite noticeable is again, is the shape of the uh, driver heads themselves. And that's obviously particularly noticeable at address and looking down on them now, I think it's probably the more traditional shape is in the stealth model. Um, nothing too fancy going on there. I love the red accent that they've put on the back of the standard model. Interestingly enough, Stealth Plus is just all black, but I love that little bit of addition of red. And then if you go into the Paradigm model, you'll see it's a slightly elongated crown. Um, and again, that's gonna be something that is uh, either gonna sit on your eye or not. And again, you know, you're talking about preferences here, you're talking about spending 500 quid. These are the minor details which are gonna be really where your decision lies, I think. Right, I'm gonna think we're gonna hit final two shots and then we'll give, or I'll give my verdict at least on how these two perform. We've got a fairly tight par four, so yeah, you'd wanna be uh, reaching for each of these things with a bit of confidence in hand. And uh, you know what? I reckon I've got confidence in both of them. Can I find a fairway? And then what is my verdict? That's a lovely little par three, by the way. And for those of you wondering about this course, I'm gonna put a link down below because um, La Hacienda is a great setup here in San Rock. So uh, a lot of you may have seen what's going on in the video and uh, interested to find out a bit more. So I'll make sure I put a link below. Anyway, let's finish with the drivers. Right, okay, so interesting one there. Started off down the middle, there's a bit of shape on that in terms of a bit of right to left. Really uh, loosened up a bit, went after that one a bit. It's a fairly tight hole. It looks to me as though it's carried the bunker um, nearest the centre of the fairway. We'll go down and see if it has. If it has, then it's a, a fairly long drive. Again, fired out there. Pretty much everything that I've seen so far with Stealth 2. No surprises there. Let's get the paradigm. Oh, that's a solid ball to finish with Paradigm. Bullet straight in terms of its ball flight. Piercing ball flight as well. That certainly hasn't picked up like a few of them has. And uh, from what I can see, just inside of that bunker I referred to where I think Stealth is, and that seems to have bombed on a bit as well in terms of that low spin. The one thing I pick up on, and I'm still not 100% sure of, is the sound difference between the two is quite noticeable. Um, again, if you've tried it, you know what carbon wood sounds like. I think it's a more softer, muted sound. Not quite the same on Paradigm, in my opinion, but hard to argue with performance. That ball has absolutely flown off. And in terms of ball speed, I think it's fair to say this thing's out there. Right, I've just started to go and get the scorecard out because uh, this par four, first of all, you would never take driver off the tee, but I wanted to see how long this is. It's 350 yards, right? That ball here was the tailor-made ball. The ball further on, another 10 yards or so carry or rollout rather, is that of the paradigm. Now, the first thing to mention at 350 yards, each of those balls has traveled in and around 300. 
that's a huge drive for me and I knew straight away when both of those come off the club face that they'd fired out I think I suggested that when I hit them on the tee but really in terms of where they finish is a bit of a kick down the hill as well which you can't quite see from the camera angle so it's got a bit of bit of help um, but they've done so so well and I think that without going on too much more about these these two perform incredibly well as do all the drivers right now that uh, have been released in 2023 what you've got to make sure is that you get the things that fit your bill in terms of what you require that's kind of things like launch angle ball flight the shaft is hugely important obviously what you see at address is hugely important how you think a club sounds no use me telling you because you know all this anyway but uh i've got to say that these are priced extremely high right now but the performance out of them has been superb out there on the fairways it really has and uh, i'm impressed with both and either way if you are going to splash this kind of cash you're going to end up with a decent driver in your hands right that's me done heathland course like i said today i'm going to go back over and finish a little bit of a challenge over on the lynx course i think and uh, get back by the waterfront right thank you for watching and i'll see you all soon